Now joining me to discuss this better is political affairs analyst Jide Ojo. Thank you so much for your time. Now what do you when um, why do you think there is a sharp divide in public opinion on the local elections with some with some supporting and others protesting? Well, um, that the election even held at all is a miracle, uh, given the tension and the and the insecurity that has pervaded River State since the inauguration of uh, at least since October last year, when um, the group loyal to Governor former Governor Yeson Wiki had been making the River State of Governor Group for similar. Aid. Barak, the incumbent governor. You need to situate what is going on today in the in the in the face of between the the former governor, the middle past governor, and the current governor. The middle past governor, uh, who is not the federal capital territory uh, minister, uh, believes he owns the political structure of River State, particularly that of PDP. And you could see that the recent, uh, the recently had congresses uh, by PDP in the states uh, were were won by its loyalists. So, and the loyalists to the current governor, similar to Fubara, are there to defect to APP of uh, Alliance uh, People's Party APP uh, in order to realize their 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 interest. Uh, because after the dissolution, um, the governor, similar to Obara, dissolved the 23 local government caretaker committee chairman. No, they were even elected, but the attorney had ended. So when the attorney ended, um, the, the river status of assembly tried to extend the attorney by six months, which the governor did not want. Uh, because it's about controlling the political structure of the state. So when Fubara rejected the extension that was granted by the status of assembly, uh, the, the Supreme Court decision came that any local government that is not democratically governed, uh, that their funding should be withheld. So that's became, because after the critical committee that were appointed by similar Fubara, they could not take uh, over the, the administration of the councils because uh, the, 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 the loyalists of Wiki were resistant to their takeover, citing that the status of assembly had already extended their tenure. It was that face up that was on before the Supreme Court decision came. Now, when the Supreme Court decision came, it then means that Fubara had to organize a proper election. And that proper election is what was happening today. But because Wiki's group knew that if this election were to be successfully conducted, they will be swept aside. That means that they will no longer be in control of the local government system of River State, the 23 local government. That's why they rushed to the court and got a, uh, a federal high court decision to uh, not to allow the election to hold as scheduled today. And the court gave them favorable judgment saying that INS should not give uh, voters register, the police and DSS should not participate. However, the camp lawyer to Fubara also got a ruling of the uh, Riverside Court that gives them the leeway to conduct this election. So both camps are, are citing legal backing for what has happened today. Unfortunately, I just hope that there will be no life loss because we've heard of situations where people were shot, particularly in the Obia Kualuku government area of River State, the world where a uh, former, former governor is on Wiki comes from. We learned that the youth resisted the conduct of election in that place, and two people were allegedly shot. Although, sorry, as I, as um, I'm so now, sorry I've to interrupt you, um, Jide Ojo. Now, best. briefly, yes. do you think this election would be valid as some part of the states couldn't participate in the election? Well, the validity or otherwise of it will be determined by the court. Uh, don't also forget that it's just all ritual that they are performing. If you look at all the uh, state uh, state independent electoral commissions uh, elections that have been conducted thus far, particularly this year, 
it has been 100% moonslide and landslide victory for the party in power. And now, unfortunately, while Simulai Fubara says he's a member of PDP, his loyalist has defected to APP. So what will happen now is that at least they will announce results and they will forcefully inaugurate those who have been declared winner and ask those who lose out to go to court. So that's why I said it's the court that will ultimately determine whether what was held today is credible election or not. But I just hope and I sue for peace in River State because as the day winds down, under the cover of darkness, a lot of things can happen which were not allowed to happen during the day. So it's better they just do whatever uh, shenanigans or shambolic election they want to do. Uh, let's keep peace. Eh? Let's leave the rest to the court to determine. Uh, and I know that this mm. might even go to court of appeal. Uh, All right. Or the Supreme Court ultimately. All right. But it's political... just about controlling the political machinery of the state. That's what the two camps, the Wiki camp and the Fubara camp, this is what they are what they are fighting over. All right. Political Affairs Analyst Didi Ojo, thank you so much for your time.